much as somebody that's working 30 minutes. But you could argue, you know, if they're having fun, it's not a waste of time. The thing about having fun, the thing about having fun is just because, like, you really, really, really like something and, like, you're obsessed with it and you think, like, you know, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. This is what I like. What I've personally found is a lot of times people have irrational, uh, irrational things that they like, for example, okay? So if you like something that's not very popular, that's not very effective, um, you're perfectly capable of swapping that out with something else. You may not like it as much at first, but you put some effort into it, you start to see the appeal. It's kind of like playing Tetris or Pac-Man. Those games are really old. Tetris, Pac-Man, those games are really old. They're outdated. But there was a time when people loved them and they were like the best games ever. And I'm sure there's still people that like those games. They still, they still like those games. But most people have moved on. They don't care. They think the graphics are terrible. The gameplay is terrible. There's a lot better things out there. So, for example, if you're, you know, you're playing Pac-Man for five hours a day and you're getting no views, but hey, you like Pac-Man. There's plenty of other games out there. You may not like them at first, but, you know, it's a game. It's a game. They're all games. You pick, you pick, you don't. And, um, so say you, you finally snap out of it and you play a different game and all of a sudden you get ten times as many views a hundred times as many views. Guess what? Now you're getting compensated a lot better and you're still enjoying video games. Now I'm not here to tell you exactly how to be super effective. I'm just telling you that there have been a lot of times where I worked on a lot of projects and they didn't go anywhere because they were passion projects and I've talked a lot about this. You really have to look around and see what other people are doing, what is effective, and stop having that tunnel vision and just, you know, dealing with it. There's so many people that make YouTube videos for five, ten years. They never get any views. They never get any, they never change it up. They never try anything different. Now, this is just talking about YouTube, but it's, but it's true especially for YouTube. You know, if you like ASMR videos, for example, um, or like you have a different hobby and you're like just obsessed with it, like it's the most important, most fixated thing you've ever been obsessed with, you have to realize that you should be able to drop it. Just drop it, just let it go. If you find something better, if you find something better, um, you have to be rational about it. So many people get into these hobbies and they're like, oh my god, this is life changing, this is game changing, this is like the most important thing I've ever, you know, and it turns out to just be a fad that you grow out of, for example. But for that time, you're very fixated, you're like a mass consuming it. It all in, taking it all in, and it's so important. Little do you know, in a year or two, you'll probably forget all about it. You'll never watch those videos again. So, it's kind of like that with a lot of hobbies. You know, you think, oh, this is like, I, I love this, I'm always gonna love this. It's always gonna be relevant to me. I can't give it up. I know, it's, it's just, it's just too strong. Trust me, trust me, it may take 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, maybe even longer. But for most people, they will eventually grow out of it. They will eventually find new things. And it will age poorly. So many things have aged, like, you know, give it a, a year or two. It's gone. 
it's gone. Nobody cares about it anymore. Some other things last a little bit longer, but eventually nobody cares anymore. So you don't want to be on that ride for 5, 10, 15 years or whatever, however long it lasts. And then you reflect back on it. You're like, wow, I wish I, I, I moved on a lot quicker. I wish I let go a lot quicker. But for the time being, it was my world. It was so important. I thought like, you know, this is it. This is the best. Yeah, no, 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 no. You have to realize that there's a lot of people in this world that understand this. They look at like, they hear it now. What is effective? They're in the present day. They're not in nostalgia land. Living in the past. They're not living in obsession land. Their, their, their mind is clear. They can adapt. They can adjust to, you know, rational observations. If something is not working, they can drop it like a hot potato. And they can figure out what is working and they can adapt to it. So that's the difference between somebody, you know, working really hard and getting nothing in return and somebody working hardly any and getting a lot in return. Now again, if you're a noob, if it's just like, what do I mean by that? Like, you know, some people just like, they don't even know where to begin. They don't even know where to start. And you may be asking, well, where do I begin? Give me some advice. Like somebody, like a couple of people ask me, like, how do I get ASMR views? Like, how do I get views on my Amazon ASMR videos? The algorithm, the algorithm, the algorithm. And, you know, some people have said that they watch my videos because they, they find the rambling interesting. I've seen some ASMR channels where, like, you know, they just straight up copy other ASMR channels. So you're watching them, you're like, oh, I know where they got that from. You know, they're just like copying other channels I've seen, you know. Or like, they, you know, they're, um, I don't know, it's just boring. <laughs> I don't know. So I definitely don't make the best ASMR videos. Um, in fact, a lot of times I think of like, like I should focus a little bit more, slow down, make more noises and all that stuff. I don't know, just try to make it like a little bit different. I don't know, just stuck up. Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm just mainly talking about like, you know, you can be the world's best janitor. You can learn all of the skills of the trade, how to be the best janitor. You know, you're still gonna make that guy, you're still gonna make janitor money, you know? So you really have to be able to think, think your way out of a paper bag and prosper and grow. Now, it, it can seem difficult, it can seem impossible. You don't even know where to begin. And it all starts with observations, opportunities, experiences. You have to look around. You may not get the answer today. You may not get the answer tomorrow. You may fail a lot. You may struggle a lot. But the whole point of it is to learn as quickly as possible. Just constantly re-evaluate how are things going. How could they be improved? You know, why are things not working? Okay? And sometimes you've got to throw it all out. Because again, if you have that tunnel vision, like if you make YouTube videos and it's very, it's a very specific niche and you're just like fixated on it, just fixated on like, okay, this is going to be it. This is how I'm going to make videos. Sometimes, no, it's not. That's not how you're going to make videos. Eventually, you're going to snap out of it and be like, oh, this is not effective. This doesn't work. Um, I need to take a break. I need to, like, take a step back, give myself some time, look around, you know, 
as effective as looking out there and being like, okay, what do people watch? What are people interested in? Stuff like that. And again, you may be like, well, what if that's not what I want to do? That's not what I'm passionate about. Like I said, you can adapt. You may be in love with Pac-Man and Tetris. Nostalgic. It means so much to you. You could go on and on about Pac-Man and Tetris. And everybody else is playing Fortnite. Everybody else is playing Fortnite. Everybody else is playing Fortnite. I'm not saying that you should play Fortnite, but I'm just saying maybe you can replace Pac-Man with Fortnite. Is it really that hard? Is it really that big of a deal? If you really think about it. Is Pac-Man really that great? I know you love Pac-Man. I know you love... Just as an example. You have to be able to take a step back and say, I really like this stuff. But rationally, do other people like this stuff? And can I swap it out for something better? Even though you think it's the greatest thing in the world, maybe... Maybe, like... I don't know, get over it and realize that you can let go. And nothing is really that great. At the end of the day, nothing is really that great. That you have to be like stuck. Stuck. And if you if you have a free mind and you're constantly, you know, looking around at what's out there, you can find some amazing opportunities. Amazing amazing things. So you don't have to be stuck in mediocrity. You can always do better. You have to always believe that. There's always a way. You can always do better. There's always so much more out there. Right under the surface. Easy. Prosperous. Amazing. You may never find it. But it's there. You have to believe it's there. Because it is. And at the very least, it's better than what you currently like. It's better than what you currently like. So some of you guys may, you know, be making ASMR videos. And it's not doing too well, you know. Um, honestly, I blame the algorithm. I really do. I blame the algorithm just not throwing views at you. But also, um, you know, there's other things out there. You know, so... For example, this channel may be doing better, it may be doing worse than other channels, ASMR channels, but, you know, there's a lot more out there. You have to always be able to take a step back, let go, and realize thousands of other ways. Thousands of other things to focus on, to prosper at, to get good at. You know, you don't have to be stuck, stuck, stuck. You don't have to have that tunnel vision be like, this is it. This is my only talent. This is the only thing I like. No, no, no. You have to be able to devaluate and move on and let go and find completely new things. That's when, and if you ever find it, you'll be like, oh my god, I wish I did this sooner. Oh my god, this is so much better. And, if, and if, so if you're currently defending, like, oh, you know, I gotta keep doing this. I, I, this is what I like. Even though you gain nothing from it. You're like, I don't care if I don't gain anything from it, I'm still enjoying it. What if one day you find something that's so much better that, you're, that you enjoy that is also super prosperous you'll be like oh my god I remember all those years I wasted my time with that one thing that I really liked but just wasted my time